Gamer Grub. Yeah. Gonna be unboxing my package from Gamer Grub today. Seeing what they sent me and what they want me to take a look at. Actually, this one's one I want in a contest, not something they're sending me for review, so. I got a freebie, and I get to review something. Holy crap, I got a swag box. Is there an advertisement? Think fast, one more. One more? No keyboard crows, no greasy fingers. Shows the flavors on the back. I get a card. How cute. And we have two epic gamer grub stickers. Put those to the side here. And inside we have the boxes. Um the pizza flavor, Gamer Grub Performance Snack, pizza, and the s'mores flavor. And it looks like these are also display boxes. Indeed, my good Watson, they are. Haha, <laughs> that is awesome. There we go. Something interesting I did notice is see, this is the pizza box. Within it, the actual varieties of gamer grubs are assorted, which is kind of cool. You get a nice little mix, like this one has PB&J and pizza flavor. And maybe... No, that's it. PB&J and pizza in the pizza box. And then in the s'mores box, you have... Barbecue. And s'mores. So this is... Oh, one of those wondering. Got a little card. Open it up, and it has... Gamer Grub Founders business card. My $25 GameStop gift card I received. And a little note that says good job for winning. So thank you much to Keith from Gamer Grub for being awesome, having an awesome sweepstakes, and allowing me to win. Hope I can win some cool prizes next time as well. And thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I should be posting a review of the Gamer Grubs themselves at some point soon. I'll let you all know about that, but thank you for watching my unboxing. Be sure to go send Gamer Grubs some thanks and order their products if you'd like. And uh, I will chat at you guys soon. See ya. And thanks to Gamer Grub and their contest that they had that gave me a $25 GameStop gift card, I was able to purchase a few games from GameStop for under the $25 gift card limit that Chu and I get to play together. And so I'm just going to show you guys these games and then we can decide which ones we're going to play and such at a different time. The first one I picked up was 99 Nights. It looks like a JRPG. It was only like 5 bucks, so it's probably not very good, but at the same time, it could I've never heard of it, so it could be that cheap just because nobody heard of it, therefore nobody played it. That happens a lot. The next thing game I got was Dead Rising. Didn't have a case, but everybody probably already knows what this game is. It's a zombie game. And yes, these are all on Xbox 360 because if we if I were to get like Steam games or whatever, she and I couldn't play together without buying two copies, and that's just a waste of money. And then I got Soul Calibur 4, an awesome fighting game that she actually used to have, or she thought she hadn't played, um, but that we're gonna play together. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You guys have a nice day.